to the studio. That was a little taste of the guests we have here in, on set. Uh, photography is actually one of the most beautiful forms of visual art, in, in which you know we can express millions of words with a simple image. Uh, because, well, what, what is that saying? A photo is worth a thousand words. And, Photography actually gives us the opportunity to explore the world in a way we have never seen before. And so our next guest, who you just got a taste of, is here to share how she made this possible and, and to talk about the world of possibilities and her most recent exhibit, Three Families, Three Decades, Portraits from Burkina Faso. We welcome Barrow Goldberg. So happy to be here. We are happy to have you here. Really? And um, as we, we just saw in the package, uh, your exhibit is already, it already opened and it's going to be on display for how long? Just a few days more, I think, Okay, so when, when does been, it go? Uh, I'm not sure, actually, okay, okay. like sometime next week. I just want to make sure that people get yeah, in there to see it. Really, and and, and really. just, just, let's just share a little bit about your background in photojournalism. You. Um, actually, I, I went through your website, and uh, you have this sense of humanity in your images, uh, no matter where you've traveled. Um, what's that like, to just travel the world and photograph? I, wonderful. <laughs> I've been very lucky. I've been able to see and go to so many places, and um, either on my own or through the assignments I had, be able to really meet wonderful people and people who are really working to improve their societies, to help their societies, and, and all over. Latin America, Africa, Asia, so I... I mean, no, Europe. yeah, I mean, you've been... <laughs> uh, no, yeah. You, you want to name some of the places you've been? Because it, it's really fascinating how, how you have just travel the world to photograph. Cambodia, India, Bangladesh, uh, Israel... Africa, various countries in Africa, Senegal, Mali, Burkina Faso, uh, Nigeria. What is... Mexico. Oh, my goodness. Keep rolling. Keep <laughs> rolling. Oh, my Chile. goodness. Wow. Um, most Guatemala, Costa Rica. So what is the inspiration behind your choice of images? Um... My goal is really to show the best, to show people at their best. To I mean, there's such a narrative in the, our society of less than, of um, in Africa. I mean, that's one of my major, as you can see with right. those photos, that there's a, a narrative about Africa that it's dangerous, horrible. There's nothing but famine, poverty, drought, civil war, and... Um, these photos I show another whole a reality that is true. I didn't set out to prove. I mean, when I first met these families, I was just starting out as a photojournalist. And, and how many um, years ago was that? <laughs> that was nineteen. <laughs> Did she just do a, <laughs> a few years? That's hilarious. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's shocking how many. But I just. Um, I had been a public school teacher and just for a few years, and um, I took a course with a fabulous teacher named Harold Feinstein, who just was inspirational. Uh, so, okay, um, I'd been taking pictures of my students, and I just said, okay, I'm giving this up. I also was getting a degree in African studies, and I just realized I wasn't cut out to be an academic. So, okay, giving this all up, give up my apartment, put every, give, farm everything out, take off for West Africa. And, and um, through friends, I met these people. One family invited me to live with them for a few weeks, a week, I don't know, a few weeks. And I met other people in the market. This was Burkina Faso, where, uh, which was then Upper Volta. It wasn't even Burkina Faso then. And so um, how many years ago was this? <laughs> We're still back 72 <laughs> was when I took this trip. I did, the yeah. reason I, I, I keep yeah. asking is just to set up because you're in, in such yeah. a different place now. Right. I mean, and right. it's, it's very interesting that it's so vivid, uh, that, that memory is, right. it, it's almost like right. it, as if it was yesterday. Right, right. And now your, your clients are like New York Times, Planned Parenthood. Right. I, and I'm just sharing that with, with our viewers because you actually are hired to go abroad and capture. 
Sometimes. Uh, either way. I mean, I've been, I was sent to uh, Bangladesh. I was sent to uh, Cambodia and India. I was hired. I also worked extensively with educational book publishers, and I was sent to, uh, uh, let me see, Puerto Rico, Spain, and uh, Venezuela to photograph. And so, so going back to the Africa, um, the actual Burkina Faso, right, which is where you started right. in 72. Right. And it's almost like you have extended family over there right. is what it sounds truly, like to me. Truly. And you went and you captured yeah. them and now you're exhibiting them. Like, what is what is what do you hope that people leave with? Just um, the reality that and I went back then I went and I was able to find them. I went, I, the last time I'd been there was in 79. And then in 1998, I said, OK. I'm going. I'm going to see if I can find them. And I wrote some letters, and um, two of them wrote back to me. One I did not have any post office box for, but I went and um, heard back from them. And um, they, they're they just, they're fabulous, and they're doing well. And that's not an image, again, that one people have of Africa that, and, you know, generalize Africa. They're many, many countries in Africa. So this is this country of Burkina Faso, but I think throughout Africa there exist families who are doing well, who are being, who are learn, getting, are well educated. And the, the parents of these families were all market people who were relatively poor. And now they're, some of them, one has a PhD from a university in France. The, the girl who, wonderful young lady who lives here in the Bronx has a master's. Um, she was came here to go to college and for very anyway she came here has a, an undergraduate degree a graduate degree she's talking about going for a PhD and when I met them her grandmother especially was like poor she was selling drinks I mean that's one of the photos poor. I know that and, and now it's everybody miraculous. It, it is miraculous and, and, one, and common I mean it's not it's miraculous but not unusual and that's what I'm trying to Capture, sure. yeah, no, and you did. Yeah. Uh, I, I noticed, it. and I also like the fact that you use titles such as fa "developing families" as opposed to "third world country." It's like the, it's, it's a big it's shifting, all these <laughs> shifting. It's big shifting. conversations on those that terminology. Yeah, I know, always. I know. I wish we we had yeah. more time, but we're out of time. Is there something you want to leave us with before we go? I just um, there people are wonderful and special, and we have to honor people where they are and their religion and their from where they're from and not treat them as stereo dangerous stereotypes thank you thank you for saying that right because <laughs> at the end of the day we're all one race anyway the human race all right mm -hmm. so uh before uh actually for more information and to uh view some of her images you can visit beryl.goldberg.com go to beryl.goldberg.com all right, we have to take a break, but we'll be back with our weekly sports roundup with Bobby C.